Hello. Uh, hi everyone. It's it's Reeb Bjorn with. Hello boy. Hello guys. Hello everyone. What are we playing today? We're playing. Um, I don't have a name for it. I just titled this stream uh, "Thruple Trouble," but I mean, I think almost all of them could be named that. Cause Lauren sucks. I see a shout out for the Blue Boy Cartel. Blue Boy Cartel, what's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, sip of water. Um, all right, so this call, uh, Blue Boy, do you think you can give like a, a brief, like just the beginning of the call synopsis of what happens here? Do you remember? Um, yeah. So this call is kind of like the same one we played last weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, Casey is is kind of on Lauren's side a bit. Yes. This one, he has a... He has a blow-up. He has a meltdown in this one. Yes. And because something that Jamie does, I won't spoil it, or did do. Um, <laughs> yeah. But he's not, he's not a happy boy in this one. So I, I think you guys will like it. If I had to sum it um, up, I would, I, would, I would say this. Keep it up, you pathetic fucking bitch. Yeah. Yep. Actually, I've um, been saying that all day, so... <laughs> crying learn eh, possibly perhaps perhaps he cries per um perhaps he 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 says some good lines in this good quotable lines i think yes definitely um, what is that why is that on right now sorry not you are you good um so yeah i guess i'll just get into it this is like how long is this one like an hour and a half you'd say Fucking sorry, sad. I you dare? For a okay. Yeah, so back. fucking sad. So Blue boy fucking sad. Sounds like Casey. Gorilla this is a longer is... call, though. Correct. Uh, it's about an hour and ten. Okay. So. Uh, um. Yeah. Gorilla Face Gwen donated and said that uh, Blue Boy sounds like Casey. I sound like I'm fourteen. <laughs> you want to watch Water Boy, man? <laughs> I do want to watch Water Boy, actually. Thank so you. I can't wait for this to be over. All right, let's get into this. Is Lauren nude in the call? I'd say like ninety-five percent. <laughs> Most likely. Debbie is the uh, champion of the entire world. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, there you are. Hey, there I am. Fucking sad. What's happening? Oh, so, so fucking, fucking sad. sad. Hello, everyone. I'm N G H H H H. Out here driving. Blue by night Track today this, but... to make some ends me eat and I'll be um going home tonight to chop some wood for the stew up before the blizzard starts so <laughs> cut you off. I'm gonna turn the donation sound off just because Blue Boy's here and it's kinda hard for him to know that this is happening. Uh Cornwall Cryptid donated and quoted Lauren kind of just saying you can chop firewood and ruin so ruin him and don't freeze. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, that. Yeah, that's funny, thank you. Oh god. Oh, whoops. Let me get this. Oh. Jamie here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chapin with you, Tulip. Ugh. Tulip. Sorry, it was a busy night. What were you doing, Jamie? Jamie. That is the give me the thrash in wrestling ring. Cancelled, so we went to dinner to talk shop. Oh no. What what what? Dreaming? Oh uh, no. Need to get rid of them for good. <laughs> what is Aki Shaw? Getting rid of him for good. Why Jamie? Do you remember uh, last stream when Rod was in her bedroom? I do. Yeah, I remember just because he... You need to get rid of him for good, Jamie. Wouldn't shut up about it. Does he think if he asks this again? I mean, how long has Rod been in the picture? Forever? Well, not forever, Does but he... like, since he showed like... up, pretty much. Well, he's just... No, by now, she's not going to get rid of him. 
No, and it, what I what I don't get is like if you ask similar to that what you're saying, but like the last one, if you if you ask, is Rod in your bedroom forty five times? Like, does does someone's willpower just cave out and they're like, yep, yeah. Or like, if you're not getting the answer, I think that's a pretty big indication of where Rod is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like when uh, when Lauren would be like. Jamie, oh, did you hear that, Jamie? You don't love me? And there's just radio <laughs> silence. It's like, well, I think you yeah. got your answer, bud. Yeah, that, yeah. if you have to ask a hundred times if she loves you, she I doesn't. don't think she loves you. She doesn't love you, bruh. Because he has been nothing but problems for me and you since the day you met him online. Another weird way of putting something. Mm-hmm. He's still in your fucking life. <laughs> fucking twice that I know about. <laughs> He's seen you naked countless fucking times. Has to recite the whole thing again. In your fucking bedroom last night. Yeah. With you in your bedroom. Yeah. With you with all your bedroom. in your yeah. bedroom. All parties he was on this call We're know right. all of that stuff already. You don't need to recite the whole <laughs> list. We need to. We need to run through it again. Um. Here's my question. So two adults are in a bedroom of the opposite sex. Does that mean they're fucking? Um, it doesn't mean they're fucking. But not, not necessarily. It could. They could be, and but that's all that matters. That's all that matters. There's a there's a penis and a miss vagina, and you know, can't have that happen. In that bedroom. Speaking of Rod. Why is he there? Not in the living room. Why is he there? Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Casey does that a lot in this call. This is Jamie because Lauren does that constantly. Alice and Ray Armstrong said, dude with the glasses looks was like he a in douche. your bed? <laughs> Don't talk about Rod like that. He was in your bed. He was sleeping in your bed with you? Oh no. Jamie. He was in my bed. Jamie. <laughs> oh, Were you in, in your bed with him? <laughs> Where did you sleep? Let's get all the clues on the board here. We need all the information. <laughs> we need to know exactly what bedroom room everyone was in. I oh, someone. Uh, medium syllables donated and said, "Why is Carnation doing this to us?" It's a great question, I, uh, Jamie. I, that's funny. Like that would break me if I was on on the phone with someone doing <laughs> that. Uh, thank you, medium syllables. I slept on this little couch thing I had. Why are you sleeping on a couch when you have a bed and there's a spare room in that house? There's a spare room. Good point. The fuck That's a good point. That is a good point. Your bedroom. Kind of like this whole thing's made up. Right. To piss you off. Yeah. I don't understand why she didn't tell Rod that she has a boyfriend and that it's Lauren. <laughs> it's like a hammock. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. It, it does, I don't care if it's like a hammock or not, Jamie. Think about this. You're getting naked uh-huh. for Rod... And you won't get naked for me. Think what? about that. Did she ever think about that? It, it never crossed her mind that she gets naked for Rob, but not Lauren. And what is that supposed to mean? She get naked for Lauren. They're not in the same... She can't get naked for him. She can't get naked for him. She can't send him nude pictures. He can't receive them. Yeah. So I don't know what he's trying to say right here, but... He's just trying to say that everyone sees her naked Did... and he doesn't. It's his only go-to with this shit. Well... I hope Jamie thought about it. Uh, I hope so, too. I mean, it sounds like Jamie doesn't think about anything but her fucking That's self. Fucked right up. <laughs> think about that, Jamie. Yeah. You're getting naked for Rod, and you won't get naked for me. How fucking disgusting is that? How disgusting. Jamie? Are you getting naked for him? 
<laughs> Jamie. <laughs> you don't even let Jamie type. No, Jamie. don't. No, because that's what Lauren does. <laughs> yeah. Lauren wants an immediate answer. If you pause for three seconds, you... Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> oh, my God. I want you to call him right now, Jamie, and tell him. Yep. Get him right there. Gone. We want him gone. You know goddamn well that I want him gone for fucking good. Oh, shit. He's a threat to me. <laughs> He's a threat to both of us. He's a threat to you being happy. The turtle is... He's a threat? Happy. He's a threat to you being happy? He's a threat to me being happy because if he's around, I'm not happy. I guess. I mean, Jamie's pretty happy with Casey. Yeah. I don't understand. Yancey's the turtle okay. from the poem. It's not turtle shit. Yeah, I don't really understand that line there. I mean, I never really understand Lauren's vocab most of the time, but apparently yeah, Rod's true. a threat to his happiness. To her happiness. Oh, to her happiness. Sorry, I'm all confused. That makes more sense now because now it makes sense because Rod is going to cost the relationship and the only way Jamie's gotcha. ever going to be happy is if she's with Lauren. And they both know that. They've known it for a long time. Is that fucking virgin penis worth losing out? Is it? Jamie. Jamie. I resolved this yesterday. See, he told me to do this once before, and when I did, he backpedaled. What? Yeah, because I did it. Because, Jamie, I told him that he could be your friend. But the problem is, if you wanted more than that, you wanted him to do your fucking shows and see you take it all the fucking time. Mm. And do her laundry. That's bullshit. Yeah, and do your fucking laundry. What the fuck <laughs> is up with that shit? Perfect instigation. Well, uh, he's gone. So good. Get him gone. I don't Call him like up right him. now. Tell him you're done. Hold on, getting a drink. Call him up. What? She's getting a drink. <laughs> She's getting a drink. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking guy. I, I, I don't know what the fuck she's, she's even thinking. I don't understand either. She, what the fuck is this guy's doing here? She, she knew that I'd be fucking pissed off about a guy sleeping in her fucking room. But I can't stand oh, the yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Of course, nobody should be sleeping in her room besides us. Exactly. And nobody should be doing the fucking laundry guy? besides us. Yeah. This fucking, what? I want this she can do her own laundry. That's right. Why is someone doing her laundry, even though Lauren wants his laundry to be done by someone? Yancey did win a belt there. Stayed in Maine. Ugh. Uh, it just fucking blows my fucking mind. She met this guy on the computer? On the she phone. met him on the computer. Or on the computer. Where on the computer? I don't know. Some fucking cat room, I guess. Jamie. Are you still getting a drink? Is Rod giving you a drink? <laughs> you having a drink with Rod? And sex with Rod? Okay, go have a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> what took you so long? There? What took you so long to get a drink? Who will ask me something? Is Rod there, Jamie? Oh, yeah. Is he there, Jamie? Ask an answer. No, no, ask an answer. not answer. <laughs> well, two Reborns just laughed there. I think. Was that you in the call? Okay. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Not answer. <laughs> that, was, that was not me. That was not Reborn. How did he not hear that? Was... that? What? 
How did Lauren not hear that? I've got the audio boosted a little bit because it was kind of oh. quiet. So it might have picked up stuff louder. I think it's... Hold on. Let me... I'll play it normally, and I'm sure it's still as loud. Hold on. Did not answer. <laughs> yeah, that was still that loud. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't hear that. Where is he? Is he still there? Someone couldn't keep it together, these calls. More? Can anyone hear me? I hear you. Oh. Take my phone put out. Okay, I don't think you heard you that. Is Rob still there? Aston Oh, who's asked, but it wasn't answered. Aston not answered. God, him fucking name. That's exactly it, Sloth Cat. What the fuck's up with you, Jamie? Watch. He's not here. Prove it. Prove it. That's another one of Lauren's favorites. Yeah. Then when I did a dance original. Find your answer to Jamie. You bitch. <laughs> you bitch. You know, watch your fucking mouth. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a bitch, but Rod's not a bitch. But Rod's the one that, the Rod is the one that's causing you the most fucking problems. I think you're causing her the, the most problems. Laundry, yeah. See you naked. You met going down the list again. You met this motherfucker on the Jenny internet. Jamie, what you did. <laughs> you're the problem. When you and I were together. And that happened ages and you ago. And then you fucked him. More than once. Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Get rid of the motherfucker. How many times have you fucked him? Oh, no. What? This may shock you. Alright. Now, before giving anything away, <laughs> everyone in the audience, what do you think Jamie has something to... What do you think Jamie has to tell the what, Thrupple? Yeah, what bombshell is Jamie about to drop on the Thrupple here? What? <laughs> what is going to happen? And is it going to turn out well? <laughs> there's a little, there's a little twist here. Okay, so we got. She fucked Rod. Uh, she's. That's pregnant. an easy one. She she fucked Rod again. <laughs> fucked Rod again, again. It's a lot of pregnance and a lot of fucking rods. Should we hear what happens? Yeah, yeah that's that's let's listen to it. What the fuck? <sighs> Unmother fucking believable, Jamie. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, buddy, calm down, buddy. Whoa. He is sh you can hear him shaking. Yeah, you can hear the rage coming up, bubbling forward, you fucking bitch. Wait, but you dated a different guy when we wasn't together? When, when we you wasn't. You fucking bitch. Listen, hold on. You're telling me you dated a guy when we weren't together, you fucking bitch? Listen, I was trying to court Casey, and you went out trying to find other guy? Yeah, he was trying to date Casey the entire time. Yeah. Do you guys want to hear that fucking bitch one more time? I want to do it. I mean, there's no way he's going to get mad. He's probably going to calm down. On mother fucking believable, Jamie. You fucking bitch. Hmm. Let's call him back. Hello. <laughs> Who's name fooling? What is going Fuck on? You, Jamie. Fuck you, Jamie. I fucking mentioned to you several different times that there was Rod. You fucking lied to me. We weren't together. I don't give a fuck, Jamie. You went out with that fucking disgusting piece of shit. You fucked him? Oh no. You slept in your fucking room last night, Jamie? <laughs> in your fucking bed? Doing your dirty it's fucking nice. laundry? We know, you Lauren. You fucking piece of shit! <laughs> and you're He's fucking nice. disgusting for doing that shit! He's a nice man. Can't go back and just. I, I really want to hear that line again. It made me laugh. Hold on. You slept yeah. in your fucking room last night, Jamie? I don't know why that's so funny. He slept in your room last night, Jamie? 
Yeah, the laundry thing. He, that's he does, the laundry thing too. He, he does not like the laundry being done. You know why? Because he's handling her panties and her bras. You handled it well. And you handled it well. In your fucking bed? No. Doing your dirty Jesus. fucking laundry? He's a fucking piece of shit! Oh my god. And you're He's fucking nice. disgusting for doing that shit! He's a nice man. He's a piece of shit, Jamie! Oh no. Why am I disgusting? Just think, Jamie. You fucking dated your virgin penis after you and I broke up. Yeah! I have, I have a After question. you broke up! Right, that's the key word, right? <laughs> <laughs> After we broke up, you went, you moved on, you fucking bitch! Um, I have a question. Yeah. Maybe you can answer it. Um, how is Rod a piece of shit? I really don't know. Like, what has he done outside of maybe said, Jamie, you shouldn't be with this guy? Mmm... He That's fucked basically her. I mean, he fucked her, but every time Rod and Lorne are on the phone, at the same time, Lorne is screaming his head off. Right, and Rod's just kind of like... So if that's the only time... Me. Yeah, the only time Rod ever interacts with Lorne, he's losing his mind. I would say, you know, that Lorne is uh, someone that Jamie shouldn't be with. So he's, he's not really doing anything too crazy. He's, he's pretty much just spitting facts. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll calm down. Let's find out. I bet he does. Are you fucking intelligent? <laughs> Why am I disgusting? That same fucking guy that you said I would never date him. <laughs> so you fucking lied to me. When you let him stay in your house last night? I changed yeah, my can't forget that. In your fucking bedroom. Well, you know, it's important to know that he was at her house last night, but also in her bedroom. And he did her laundry. What a pizza shit. He doesn't, he doesn't mention the cheese plate, though. Yeah, the cheese plate. Why didn't he even talk about a... the cheese being brought up? <laughs> you changed your mind about Rod. Yes. That fucking picture that you sent to yeah, me yeah. wasn't even you and Rod. It was... Oh, yeah. Let me explain. What I'll go picture? back real quick. So, uh, and, and Dragon Words, I love Casey Egg and Amon, too, because here's, here's how I view it, is that Lauren would have hung up and he just would have kept hanging up on her because he's pissed. Whereas with with Casey there backing him up, he feels more entitled to just be a, the prick that he is, right? Yeah. And she doesn't stay like this. I, this might be the only call, I mean, this one in the last week where she's doing this, right? Maybe there's a few others. Maybe there's like one or two more. I think Kate, I think Jamie does it to Casey at one point as well. But it's, yeah. it's just because, like, someone's in the wrong, so... <laughs> Yeah, the girls fired up. change your roles every once in a while. Yeah, people play roles, man. Um, this photo he's talking about, I believe him and Jamie were broken up, and Jamie just like sent him a photo of her being held by another guy, and she never told him who it was. She just said my boyfriend, and it was it was Rod. <laughs> so now <laughs> he's remembering that. Do you remember that photo? Um, I do not. I don't know where it is. I'll, I'll look for it and try and put it in the in this call while he's talking about it. Yes. That fucking picture that you sent to me wasn't even you and Rod. It was somebody else. No. Oh, see. Okay. So never mind. I, I apologize. Lauren thinks that the photo is not even real at this point. It's not even them. And then Jamie said why? it was. But why would he think that? I don't... Why is it, like, why is it being mentioned? Now. I don't understand. She fucked okay. another guy, so she's gotta be fake. Because no one would leave Lauren or cheat on him ever, you know? Okay. Well, eat that fucking knife. You had your fucking leg up and you had his hand all over your leg. You had your hand behind his head. How fucking cute. <laughs> that is just such a precious fucking picture, Jamie. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. goes... Like it goes from it being fake to like, ah, isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, he just said it wasn't him. <laughs> oh, man. So sweet. Oh, yeah, I remember the picture. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just remembered. I don't, I don't know if I have it, but I... It's all right. I have it that, somewhere. Now that Lauren... Okay. But you know what I'm talking now about, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She's leaning back. It's like her real life boyfriend or whatever. Was it the Christmas? It could have been photo? where they're wearing sweaters or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, voice to voice donated and said, "Did Yeesh start out as a typo and naturally turn into a running joke?" Uh, no, Lauren said Yeesh. Yeah, Lauren Lauren's said Yeesh, so the robot started saying because uh, the robot could say Yeesh. So it's like Yeesh or Yeesh. He kind of says them differently. So the robot just kind of does it to him and he doesn't notice. Uh, thank you for the dono. Uh, push to push. Well, thank you, Jason Spears. Fuck, I, I can't, I cannot fucking believe you. I, I, I don't even, I don't know if I want this now. He does have a little bully ray. I, I can I'm see that. I'm fucking blown right the fuck away. He's blown away. Okay, so Whoa. real quick, Sorry. after he said he 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 can't wear this. Can blown right the fuck away. He hung up. Uh, my hang up noise isn't working now. On the news calls, uh, there was no. I add those in. But, or Heelborn does whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Hello. Fix up again. Lauren, we need to calm down. Oh, I'm trying to calm down. It's not working very fucking well. She fucking lied to me about this fucking cock sucking piece of shit. That's why we need to talk to her. She stuck his fucking face in our goddamn relationship. Fucking half the fucking relationship. She had ruined our fucking well. relationship since fucking day one. She can't seem to keep people out of our fucking relationships. Oh man, he's going down the list. He doesn't suck dogs. <laughs> How do you know? Oh no. Yeah, how the fuck do you know? You suck this cock. No, there's a Jamie. <laughs> how the fucking <laughs> feel? Oh my god, dude. You suck this cock. Hold on, I'm going back to that. Yeah, how the fuck do you know? Sorry, guys. You suck this cock. No, there's a Jamie. How the fucking feel? <laughs> Good point, Lauren. Nailed it. How did it feel, Jamie? You, you must really be fucking proud of yourself, Jamie. It was alright, I guess. What did Jamie like suck oh. Rod's cock and then was like, you know what? Go me. <laughs> <laughs> You're impressing yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you stupid dick. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Then he hangs up again. That would normally be the end of the relationship, I think, is when you call your girlfriend a fucking bitch. You call her a bitch and tell her to go fuck herself, and said that she sucked <laughs> another guy's cock. Right? I would think so. End of relationship. Lauren picks up the phone. Run away from her problems. Yeah. Is that what you do? You run away from her Oh, okay. That's not it. What? I just... Fix that. Lord, we gotta stop hanging up so we can deal with this issue. I she know you're upset. You don't want to deal with the issue. She just wants to suck on Rob's fucking cock again. Lord, <laughs> it's gotta, it's gotta be calm for a minute. Take a deep she's breath. So fucking smart. Mm. Oh, uh. I mean, I'm upset that he was there, but technically. I'll go back in a few minutes. Hold on. Um, Ramona's leather outfit donated said wrestling question how are the match winners determined in this game is it random or predetermined it is random uh, computers fight each other correct there blue boy that is correct that's correct we have no otherwise Lauren difference. would be losing constantly yeah Lauren would be jobbed out uh, real Bjorn donated as well and said shout out to Octopushy and Silent Rick shout out to, to the blue crew if you're seeing this message, it means you're also anti-LWO. Thank you for not liking the stream. Do not share it. It ends today. I wonder who that was. A real Bjorn, apparently. <laughs> uh, thank you to those people. I doubt that those are either of their real names. I mean, I'm upset that he was there. But technically, in a manner of speaking... She was not with us at the time. But we gotta give her we gotta hear her out. That's a good point, Casey. We gotta hear her out. Did you wanna shout out the blue crew, the blue crew or the, the Oh blue yeah, cartel? shout out Blue Crew. Um and uh shout out to Octopushy and Silent Rick. Oh. I'm glad you guys are here. Actually I don't know if Silent Rick is here, but I see Octopushy. Right, and shout out Waterboy. And shout out Waterboy, man. And I 
I don't give a fuck. She says she would never fucking date him, then she fucking lied to me about it. Jamie, I love you, so I wanna, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I love you, Jamie, because you would not come up and fucking see me. And when you did want to come up and see me, you wanted to bring that fucking piece of shit. You wanted to bring him with? Yeah. Where was he gonna stay? I don't know, he's saying the one fucking, oh no. She was, they were gonna, they were gonna stay in a fucking hotel room. Isn't that right, Jamie? <laughs> oh yeah. Isn't that right, oh, Jamie? smart, huh? Alright, nobody hang up and stay on the phone. We can work through this. No, they're silent, Rick. Right? Oh, you know what? I think it plays matches during, um... I know, it wasn't my business. Oh. It was my business, Jamie. I think I played these on, It was uh, my fucking business. Riffin. Since fucking day one, it was my fucking business. We went together. You met that motherfucker when we were together. We went together. You weren't supposed to be going on the internet meeting fucking guys. We so you were cheating on me then. We together. You were cheating on me, Jamie. And you no. fucking knew it. Yeah. Yeah. How do you cheat on someone you're not dating? No. What about Chef Jeff? What happened with Chef Jeff? <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, you cheated on me even though we aren't together, and uh, I love Chef Jeff, and I'm not. I love, I love that. My main thing about Jeffrey is that he created Jeffrey. In his yeah, mind. Jeffrey was made up by Lorne because he misunderstood. He misunderstood the robot saying Jeff, or no, Chef, and he said Jeff, and then said Chef Jeff. I think we have to find his origin stories at some point. Uh, donation from Gorilla Face Gwen. I have a passion, a passive income website. If you two are interested, fifty fifty. I've been tried to con and been conned into one of those Please. before. Gorilla Face Gwen, are you gonna make us do all the work and then you just get half because you paid it, you paid for it? Um, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think this. It was Chef Jeff. I watched this already. Chef Jeff was supposedly the guy that was fucking teaching her how to cook. He wound up buying her fucking panties that says, fuck off upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie, I thought you told me you made that saying up. I love that saying. No, Jamie didn't make it up. Yeah, well, they're all nice, man, as long as they go down and visit you, right? Oh, shit. All right, I'll just play this out. Like you can, you have a boyfriend for two fucking years, a year and a half, and you can't come out and see him. So I'm not a nice man. But I'm nice. Well, to you're not a nice man for a lot of reasons. <laughs> yeah, a lot of reasons. Um, uh, yeah, Chef Jeff bought Jamie some underwear that said "fuck off upstairs" on it. I really don't know outside of that if anything else happened. I don't. Think I can't so. remember. He got it as like a gag gift because she's in porn or something. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sorry, Casey. I wish I came up with something that funny. I didn't find it funny at all. I still think it's stupid. Okay. Cool. I don't know what to say right now. Good, you? We broke up in October, Lord. That's not a year and a half, and I didn't cheat. Goddamn close, Jamie. No. Goddamn close. You you cheated just by going on the internet looking for fucking guys. Round up six months, that's fine. Close enough. Then leave her. You invited right. Rod to your Christmas party. Isn't that right, Jamie? <laughs> he bought you panties. You still have them? One time, a long, long time ago, that was the only time. This is once. Just oh, once no, I tried no, to show right, right. and it was a long time ago. So it's okay. She's trying to turn the fucking table on me. Sorry for the noise. No more deflection. I don't want to go around to answer, you know what I'm saying? So you let, you, your ex right sleep, you let your ex-boyfriend sleep in your house last night. 
and you thought that was appropriate? Because my boyfriend at the time bought me lingerie. Wait. Yeah. Well, see, here's a, here's another time where Lauren mishears, and we just go with it. Wait, no, no, that's right. Because she got lingerie from her boyfriend, and then Sheffrey got her panties. It was a separate. Right, because he's talking about it was the Christmas photo where they're touching each other. Yes. I must have missed what he said. Sorry. What do you say about no, the photo? No, hear him out. So, so, um, no, because Lauren's saying how. At the time you were dating him, he got her underwear, and then Jamie says, "Yeah, my boyfriend at the time got me underwear." And then this is where Lauren hears it differently. Oh, uh, okay. So you'll just have to play it before you understand what I'm saying. Here, I'll I'll, I'll go back because um. So you let, you, sleep, you let your ex boyfriend sleep in your house last night, and you thought that was appropriate? No, my boyfriend at the time bought me lingerie. Lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> Rod, by you wandering. Yes, Rod. Yeah. And you went out to dinner tonight with Rod. Was it dinner yeah. or was it a date? <laughs> I called him yeah, Jamie. back then. <laughs> I, like how, I like how he was fired up about that. Like, his brain sh shot and goes, <laughs> yeah, Jamie. <laughs> was it dinner or was it a date? Just need to get Lauren's head then. turning. Yeah. Was it, a, was it a dinner or was it a date, Jamie? Was it a dinner date? Was it dinner or was it a date? Where did you guys go? Where'd you go to eat? I mean, she just said it was it was dinner, so that should squash that, right? There should be no more issues. <laughs> um, donation from Real Bjorn. Uh, every donation slows down the stream and angers the temple. Every donation lines the pockets of the LWO who use it to... F the furniture uh, for furniture because they have ba bankruptcy, bad credit, and are on welfare. Special man, let her have it with no problem. I don't know who this could be. Uh, thank you so much, real, real Bjorn. Blue, you got any uh, comments on that? Don't I, I got nothing on okay. that. All right. I don't remember the name, but it was fancy. Of course it was. Of course it was. Sounds like a date to me. That sounds like a date because they went to dinner together. You've never been on one, how would you know? Boom. Yes, I have. Let's pick up for your fucking bitch ass boyfriend. Whoa! Thanks, you. Apparently, he's still your fucking boyfriend because you're still going on dates with him. Won't you call him right now, Jamie, while uh, we're I on the phone? Have a boyfriend, I broke up with him yesterday. Oh. Are you oh, never mind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You <laughs> broke up with him what? yesterday? She said, wait, he, wait. she said she broke up with her boyfriend yesterday. Wait. Wait, they've been together longer than yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean you broke up with him yesterday? Can someone explain to me what happened? Did she break up with him yesterday? Oh, my God. Like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, did you, you hear that? Like... <laughs> oh, it does. Well, we'll start this one over. Wait a minute. Jamie. Jimmy. Remember when we tried to do the trouble with him when Lorne was being a bitch? Oh, that was Rod? That was yeah. Rod. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Him. I him. I don't like him. I don't like him. You mean you didn't wake up with him until yesterday? Jamie. Have you been fucking him this whole time? Well, he sort of thought we were still together. I had to clear things up. How did he think that, Jamie? <laughs> Have you been fucking him this whole time, Jamie? Jamie? No. So, the whole time that it was me and you was boyfriend and girlfriend, mm -hmm. you still thought you were his, his girlfriend. And when we were girlfriend and girlfriend, did he think you were his girlfriend that whole time? Do you think he was your girlfriend? <laughs> Jamie. That, Lauren doesn't know the word dating. That's why she didn't fucking no. tell him last night. He has to say boyfriend. boyfriend and girlfriend? Boyfriend and girlfriend. How come uh, you didn't tell Rod you have a boyfriend and it's me? <laughs> I don't think that calls out yet. It's not? 
<laughs> no, I think, that's, I think that's part of the one we're doing tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. I, he <laughs> says it over and over. It's like the dumbest way to say that shit. Uh, this one was going to go out on, on uh, Heelborn, if that's cool with everyone. That's why she didn't tell him last night that she has a boyfriend. Uh, shit, what am I looking Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's funny, Jamie. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very, very strange, Jamie. You need to leave that bill and be with me. What is what? Uh oh. He's got the sniffles. He kept saying things like, you need to leave that girl and be with me. Yeah, this call should have text messages with it. Um, that's why the last one with text messages is out. Uh, we've got like a third of them done. There's a lot of text messages, so. He's telling you Jamie. to leave me. And I said, no way, Casey is my angel. Jamie, how is it that all this time, for two fucking years, Dude, you really haven't lied to me at all. What? He accuses her of lying constantly. Right. He he does. He, he it, it's always that Jamie's doing something behind his back. Can I ask you something? Uh, was that a question though? No. I mean, if someone said this to you, real quick. Dude, you really haven't lied. Well, to hold on. Let me start from the start of the question. Jamie, how? Oh, it was it? a question. It was. How is it? But All right. Here, let me let me at, let Lauren ask you the question. Everyone, you try and answer the way you would if you heard this from somebody. Jamie, how is it that all this time for two fucking years, you you really haven't lied to me at all? I think there's a little bit more. Right up until this fucking point. Okay, so how would you respond to that if someone said it to you? Well, if I was Jamie, I would respond with, "What do you mean you accuse me of lying to you constantly?" Right, you accuse me of lying every other day. Yeah. Um, how is it that we've gone through all this time and you, you, you really haven't lied to me at all and now you're lying? Wait, what does it say at the end? Right up until this fucking point. Right up until this fucking point. I mean, I just think it's one of those Lorne... Quite, it's, very, it's worded very dumb. You know? It's, it's again, it's like the... Um, why don't you tell him you had a boyfriend and that it's me? <laughs> um, don't know from a Rob Sop. He says, did you touch his bot? And then Rob Sop said again, or did you touch his cock? Uh, so there's that. <laughs> Ron's Diaprosis says, uh, why bother asking what we are cool with? No matter what you decide, some will bish about it. Uh, thank you, Rob. Thank you, Ramona's Diaper. I just want to understand why you guys have gone all this time without lying to me and up to this very moment. Shorty, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Baby, stop, stop saying that stuff to me right now and answer the questions. You're going around it. <laughs> oh no, she's going around with questions. How is it that all this time, in these two years, you, I don't think you've lied to me once Wait up That's till now. I agree. It's not a stupid fucking question. What the stupid fucking thing is is your answer. Answer it. Wait, what? I think he said what the stupid thing is is you're not answering it, but it all mushed oh. together into answer it. Oh. I thought he said the stupid thing is your answer. Now answer it. <laughs> yeah, it did sound like that, but I think it's just his mush mouth. Okay. But again, a very stupid question. Here's how you should word it. Why are you lying to me? Right? No, no, no. I like the way Lauren does it. Oh, you like the whole, like, <laughs> for the past two years, when you and I started, <laughs> all the things we've been through, all the moments, Jamie, you never Yeah, because it's me. extra retarded. It's just peak Lauren. What's the question? How is it you haven't lied to me all this time for two years, but you did now? Why does he mention time? He's obsessed right. with time. Yeah, he does love the time. What were you about to say? Sorry. I forgot already. Did it have to do with how stupid that was? Probably. Let's hear it again. How is it you haven't lied to me all this time for two years, but you did now? Why are you lying? Again. I have you. 
that's why they're hot. Yeah, like you have. You're, you're in a relationship with two people, Jane, and you like both of us. <laughs> what a terrible question. What a terrible answer. It is not. You're trying Steph. to turn it around, Jamie. We're not the ones that did anything wrong. You are. Um, we have a donation from official blue crew underscore null. Hey okay. blue crew, it's me, your fearless leader, Null. Uh, tell me your favorite thing about Blue Boy in the chat. For me, it's a tie between his chronic unemployment or uh, SoundCloud rap career. Now it's your turn. Please tag me in your response. I love you all. That's from uh, No No Null's not the leader. He's like second in command. And, so and well, that's Noel not really that. Null. This is a prank. Null will know that. That's prank. Prank call. Prank call. Hang up on this person. Thank you, uh, fake Null. My rap career is going pretty well, actually. It's pretty good. Much. Yeah, I heard, I heard some of that fire. You it's can good. see all my rap is on Westmost streams. Boom. We play it every week. So, so it's getting out there. Did you sing that song about uh, Shorty wanting to fuck? or? Shorty wanna fuck. <laughs> it's you. It's him. <laughs> I'm it's that guy. Right, baby. All you have lied to me for two years straight, how is it you're telling the truth now? Give me a fucking answer. Tell the truth about what, Jamie? Uh-oh. I've done everything I can to show you that I'm with you two. See how it's that it. I don't have a fucking third on the side. You two are the ones that I spend my time with. There's your fucking Jamie. answer. And you tried to get him in on the throttle. You wanted to be a quadruple. A quadruple. Yeah. Trying to play us against each other yeah. Times <laughs> yeah. It's not that way now, Jamie. Oh. But that whole time, Jamie, you were showing me. That whole fucking time, Jamie, you were still with Rod. And we don't know if you were actually fucking him or not. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping in your bed. In the past. We don't know if you were fucking him or not. What's in the past is Rod. You call him right now. You call him right now with us on the phone, and you tell him you're done. You don't want to see him anymore. Don't call you. Don't text you. Don't nothing you. He's don't gone. nothing you. Get him the fuck out of your life now. Now, Jamie, will listen. Did you do yeah. movies with this guy. You did. You did. <laughs> Dude, you're passing, Jamie. You don't want to. You'd rather get rid of me and Casey than get rid of Rod. You'd rather get rid of me and Casey than Rod. I don't know when that was ever stated, but. I don't think Casey's going anywhere. I don't think so either. I think she's just going to sit there and say, Jamie. <laughs> Tell what you're fucking telling us. I love you, Jamie. Jamie, I love you. And I don't like you do. You'd get rid of me, Jamie? Lauren, shut the you fuck up. you get rid of me, Jamie? The girls are having a moment. Yeah. When Jamie. Them phone kiss or whatever. Don't start this manipulating bullshit. <laughs> manipulating bullshit. Manipulating. You're you want to get rid of me? You want to get rid of me? So you want to get rid of me, Jamie? Preach. Preach, preach. Shut up. No, I'm not gonna shut this, up. Answer was fucking Don't like Jamie cares all that much. You're the one that fucking did this shit. She does not. Oh. You're the bitch. You're the one that did this shit. <laughs> You're the bitch. You're the sucker. Oh. Do you want to fucking get rid of me or not? Oh. What? You're the sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Jamie. Do you want to get rid of me or not? Whatever. And he just got caught. <laughs> Again, this is another time. Why are you asking this? <laughs> he just called the cocksucker and he's like, Do you want us or not? You're a cocksucker. Jamie, this guy slept in your house last night. Oh, no. And he thought you guys were together. Is that why he was bringing you cheeses? Oh, here we go. Stuff Casey's like trying to that? remind him of the cheese. He's trying to impress you. Why, why is Casey being so manipulative? <laughs> trying to impress you. Um, because it's working to get Lauren angry. Yes, and it's working wonderfully. 
because there's you can tell it works well because there'd be those yeah <laughs> and he was in your bedroom yeah you want to keep Casey no matter what it takes damn that's love Jamie I mean I know, I know people don't like Casey taking Lauren's side but I mean yeah, no, it works so well it's kind of like a, it's a funny dynamic to hear yeah and um it's I, I guess it's funny because Casey you know forgives Jamie for this stuff and Lauren doesn't know what to do, because what's he going to do? Break up with both of them? Right. And the other thing, too, is, like, he's still mad. It's not like they're just chumming it up, you know? Right. Like, Can I show you, you his penis last night? Yes, we do have 154, I think, unless I counted wrong. Last night. After we got off the phone. How do I know that? Oh, that's a good point. Jamie... Absolutely bees nice. She said no, I heard her. Do you want to get rid of me, Jamie? Most worst things that uh, I suck, and but he agrees with me, so it's all good. <laughs> Back to this, because you haven't answered it. Yeah, Jamie, answer the fucking question. Come on. Jamie, what are you doing? <laughs> Must be wrong. Is it from <laughs> you didn't even have to egg him on for that one. Did you text him, Jamie? Are you ashamed? Jamie. <laughs> it's like she can't even type. Jamie. Fucking <laughs> believable. He was dating Rob. Wow. Was fucking you? Floored by this. She has never fucking lied to me. She went on dates with Rod. <laughs> I love that. And what? Uh, She's never lied to me. She's never lied to me. She. What you, are you talking about, dude? He's accused her of lying from from at least the hospital onward. Yeah. At least weekly. I'm floored by all this. Yeah, they went. Real, they real they nice. went to parties together. He bought yep. her laundry on Christmas. They spent Christmas Day together. That's fucking believable. This is unbelievable. Okay, I'm back. Was that Rod? Oh, God. Sure. What did he say? <laughs> What'd he say? Was it Rod? Sure. Well, what'd he say? Guy is a real cocksucker. Oh shit. What did you tell him? That bold guy's a real cocksucker. Cheers response. She said no. Rod, Rod said that bald guy's a real cocksucker, this is what Lauren said. What did you tell him? <laughs> <laughs> that he called me a fucking bitch. Oh Casey, okay, I'm not sure if I wanna fucking do this with her. Oh, I, she's showing me a completely different person than I ever fucking knew. What do you mean? I, she, she's, she's fucking lied. She's lied to us ever, ever since this whole fucking time we've been in a throuple. She's never fucking lied to me before. Real quick. The throuple, she's never lied to me before. The throuple started, did we, was that the first call we played at the throuple? It was the rules, but I think they had started like a day before that, right? Maybe two? Yeah. Okay, so let's, for, for the sake of uh, argument, let me, let me look up that just to see around what time it was. I know the first call we played was January 6th, uh, and that was the rules of the throuple. Um, let's say maybe the 4th of January. All this time that they've been together, it is now January 10th. <laughs> it has been <laughs> four fucking days. <laughs> six days. Sorry, six days. So, it's been a six day... It hasn't been a week. <laughs> it hasn't even been a week. And Are it you has, sure? Huh? 
Because Casey and Jamie are already saying I love you to each other. Yeah, that is soon. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but the rules of the thruple were clearly on the 6th. I don't know why he made Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to double check my facts, but... I think either way, this can't be... I mean... It's not long. It's not long, because I think three weeks in is when the girls get engaged. Yeah, okay. So, All right. this this could be right. I could, yeah, I, I don't know. I could be off, too. I mean, there's a lot of gaps in time where the girls just didn't talk to him for a couple of days. Like, uh, from the 6th, they didn't talk for two full days, and they talked on the 9th, which is what we played last week, I yeah. believe. And then this is the day after that call. So, okay. It, it hasn't been long. No. No, I don't. I've never lied. Oh yeah, Casey keeps <laughs> getting confused about That's it. That's another one of my my favorite bits that I do. It <laughs> makes myself laugh. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's not even really that funny, but I... it's like you're a liar. I never lie. Not you, Lauren. Lauren, uh, I think at one point Lauren even goes, "She's talking about me." <laughs> Jamie, I have never lied to you about fucking fucking having someone else. I mean, the what? I've never fucked anybody else, Jamie. I've never fucked anybody else, Jamie. I've never gone on dates with anybody else. Yeah, Jamie. I've never let any other woman sleep in my fucking bedroom. I didn't cheat on you too, sir. In my bedroom. I know technically I wasn't with you at the time, but I'm still upset by it. Tell that piece of shit, Jamie. He I understand your feelings, babe. Aw, we're so understanding. I, I want you to answer my question, Jimmy. Do you want to get rid of me or not? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Casey, why do I want to be with something like that? You just called her a fucking bitch. You tell me! <laughs> yeah, that's not a good point, yeah. Uh, for the fans of Maria, I really hope you enjoy her re her remodel, but we'll see. Hey, Casey. Yeah, why do you ask Casey that? Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Why well, won't be with someone like Aya? Oh, confused. This guy just called me a fucking bitch. Why would I want to be with someone like that? Oh, Jamie, stop making good points. Jamie? These are questions for you two to answer. I know what I want. That's to be Anybody in this trouble is... still. Anybody that's gonna fucking do shit to me like that? Jamie, anyone that's gonna do shit like that, Coke Zero. to me, you know goddamn well I'm gonna fucking call him a bitch. Cause you know what, you know what I fucking been through with Winnie and Emma. This bullshit that you just fucking pulled. You didn't break up with that motherfucker till yesterday. Uh, well, I don't know when the promoters of, of Blue Boy and, and Rebjorn are gonna show up in the game. At some point. And were you putting makeup on for him yesterday? Is that why you were putting makeup on? Is it a guy or is it a girl? Putting makeup on. I've never called you a bitch. When, when you said <laughs> fucking Rod, you knew goddamn well how pissed off I was gonna be. Because that motherfucker came into our relationship. You brought him in. You brought him into our relationship. Go fucking figure. You bring it somebody else into our relationship. Go figure that. that. No. Turn light on real quick. I didn't tell you that until after I after you fucking told me. Yeah. I won't be with someone like well, Ed. No, you called her a bitch before she said she was still dating him. <laughs> what? What? The hell's she talking about? Because I'm not smoking, up. Jamie. I'm not smoking, Jamie. Listen to this loud. Listen all you want. I just remembered that he's talking to a robot. Yeah, it sometimes it's crazy to think that that's a robot. You know, you I forget. I like think of it as a real woman and then I forget I have to like take a step back and remember that this is 
you on a robot. <laughs> this is this is a speaking spell with someone typing on it, and he talked to this robot for like. And he's arguing with years. it. Yeah. And he's so fucking in love with it. Who would believe this? More. Um. Uh, Rob, stop. Uh, Jim Roush at the moment is current. 87W champion. You can hear your lines, are you lying, send all shit? Yeah, Dale's in. You can't fucking hear me, I'm not smoking. Stop trying to fucking change the subject, Jamie. Yeah, he told people that Jamie couldn't talk. He had to tell class, didn't he? Whatever, all right, fine, I'm so. smoking, whatever. And even they were like, yeah, that's not a thing. Yeah, yeah a lot of people, when they heard the story go, that doesn't make any sense, bro. Just Exhaling any smoke, I just snapped. You are a terrible liar. Whatever. Smell the smog. Oh, I'm not smoking. Dude. Come here, real bitch. Jamie, all you're doing is trying to fucking turn the table. <laughs> what? You're, all you're trying to do is turn the table. Deflecting it. That's all you're doing. Deflecting. I got fucking on something I'm not gonna not do it. You are too. Whoa. Well, you didn't know that until what? Fucking three weeks later? I like this argument a lot. Because this is what Lauren does. Lauren gets busted doing something. And then, and then like, weeks later, he owns it and goes, well, at least I was up straight with you. At least I'm being honest. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, no. Then I'll you, never lie to you again. You weren't. <laughs> I flirted with her again. <laughs> Yeah, three weeks later, Jamie. Three fucking weeks later. Three fucking weeks later. No, oh, so you can do that. Honey, are you still gonna work with Rod? Good question. No, she's not. Oh, Lauren's gonna answer it for her. Depends. On what? You need to call him now, Jamie. Tell him to get the fuck on. To get the fuck on? Is that what he said? I don't know. I don't have one, so I can't tell you. I could use a cigarette right now. Thanks a lot, Jamie. I think I'll have a cigarette. You need to tell him to leave now, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Oh. I'm gonna go get me a pack of cigarettes. Jamie. I'll tell him to leave when you have the fact you're smoking right now. Not gonna own the fact I'm smoking or I'm not smoking, Jamie. Jamie, he wouldn't be smoking. He said he was gonna stop because he loves you. Swear on your mother's life, you are. I swear Ooh. on my mother's life, and I don't like doing that. That's not even a nice thing life. to fucking do swear on somebody else's life. <laughs> he, he sweared on her life, so if he's lying, she's going to hell. She's gonna go to hell. She's going to hell, uh, Jamie. I told um, you I quit smoking, I quit. Ryan, we aren't in pay-per-view mode anymore. Yeah, Jamie. The brown ring is the uh, weekly shit. last time, Jamie. The last time... I don't know how many days it's been now. Okay. Well, the one before I didn't, but I owned up to it. Every time I haven't, I have owned up to it, Jamie. When did you own up to this? Every time you get on my case about it, I have owned up to it. Exactly. Exactly. But at least he admitted it after he was caught. Okay, that's fair. Is that's it? fair. Yeah, that's fair. Is it three weeks later? 
Learn, you uh, know things dump truck man, you didn't. Oh, it was like yeah. dump truck man was like nine months late. Yeah, it was like uh, a half a year went by, and he was like, "Okay, uh, I promise, uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth." How fair is it that he slept in your bedroom last night? <laughs> and did your laundry. And you went out to fucking dinner with him tonight. You probably fucked him. Oh no. Did you fuck him last night, Jamie? Did you, Jamie? Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> When's the next time he's coming over? When's he coming over next? is looking for any reason to leave this trouble and get one of us so he looks better to his babysitters. Can't you see that, babe? That's a good point. However, I think Lauren's about to shatter it right now. No, I want you to get Rod right, right there and you right Sorry. there, and I want you to tell him you don't want him anymore. <laughs> Jamie, I already told Bryce that I'm in the trouble. I did that. Oh. And, I, and I gotta tell class tomorrow. Can you imagine being in that class? I mean, you don't want to be, for starters, just because of no. You, but what, man, I would love to audit that course. Yeah. But he just walks in and goes, "Everyone, I'm in a throuple." <laughs> like what the fuck? I did that last night. Okay, well, get him on the phone and tell him we want to hear it. I did that last night. Did you fuck him last night, Jamie? We want to know. We want to know. Seems rude to do it to him again. Jamie? Jamie? Did you fuck him last Rod's night? Feelings? Oh, I can't. You seem to care an awful lot about Rod's feelings. That's a good point. Of course. He's a good man. Yeah, he's, he's a good cocksucker. Man. Yeah. Could I fuck him more like it? He's a piece of shit. Or that. And he's the guy fucking you more like it. <laughs> did you fuck him last night, Jamie? Jamie. How did it feel with this penis inside of you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was about to say Jesus Christ, but for that. <laughs> I want to know. Was it good? Just try to get Lauren's good? mind. Right. Was it worth I it? want Lauren to think about the details. Right. <laughs> it was all right. It was all right. <laughs> How was it, Jamie? Uh, all in all, eh? He never gave me a thought every, every fucking time. This. She'll say something that she doesn't need to say. She wants to offend me. He knows where the clit is unlike someone else mm -hmm. in this world. See? I know where the clit is. I have multiple. He knows where the clit is. <laughs> you talking about oh, Lauren? Oh. Well, Jamie, think about this, Jamie. He yeah, was Jamie. a fucking virgin when you met him, so you taught him everything he knows. Yeah, Good one? Was an expert. And he knows more than you. How is that a slam? Yeah, he, I don't know. He was a virgin before he met you, and and <laughs> now you taught him everything he knows. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure did. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that seems like an insult to you, Lauren. I don't know what... He doesn't know more than me. Oh, she's talking about me. Oh. She's talking about me. Rod is Rod has apparently become fucking God to her, I guess. Rod's a perfect angel. Yeah. Perfect fucking angel, ain't he, Jamie? <laughs> the virgin penis. <laughs> the virgin Mary and the virgin penis. <laughs> Be a sex expert? A sex expert? You want to talk about tag teams? Greatest tag teams of all time? Listen to this. The Virgin Mary and the Virgin Penis. I mean, that would sell. What is that? Okay, what does that even mean? I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Lauren's saying that, uh... Who's Rod, the Virgin Mary? Rod got pregnant. <laughs> they didn't have sex. I don't know. The Virgin Mary and the Virgin Penis. That should be a t-shirt. Come to the shop. Uh, is he, is Jamie the Virgin Mary in this? In that? Uh, what is that? I, I guess. That, 
Anyone in the chat? Do you know what, Can that, we do? <laughs> what that insult was? I'm curious. We need some Lauren Math in the in the crowd here. <laughs> uh, what? Who is the Virgin Mary in this scenario here? Because I don't get it. Or or tell me why that was an insult. <laughs> or yeah, how is that a good slam? Yeah. I get virgin penis. It's stupid, but I, I at least understand why he says it, even though it's incorrect. You think he was just riffing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's a perfect angel. The Virgin Mary, even though. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I, I really appreciate that insight. Uh, Pock and la pony. Is he a sex expert? A sex expert? Because of you? Oh, someone's saying um, Mary used to be an old-timey slang for a uh, gay slang. Good I don't bad. think Lauren knew that. <laughs> no, I don't think he was clever enough for that. Because he, when he's slamming Roy like that, he he says, like, are you a man or a Mickey Mouse? Remember that? That one was weird, too. No. I don't know. Unbelievable. Never in my fucking lifetime would I have ever guessed this. Really? He's just trying to be witty. Thanks, Mike Scott. I figured, but... He, how would it be... Okay. Yeah? You never he would have guessed... Just Yeah, because he says, never would I have ever guessed this. He's he's always saying that Jamie fucked Rod. Right. And he and she cheats on him all the time with any new guy in his life. And then... So and then this... He, yeah, this should have been very easy for him to guess. He did guess it. A couple of times. Yeah. Like... Never in my fucking lifetime would I have ever guessed this. Never in his lifetime would he have guessed it. <laughs> Which is a weird thing to guess in your lifetime. Yeah. But, I mean, there are more important things like filing bankruptcy or, or going to, <laughs> to prison twice that you should, probably should never have guessed in your lifetime, not this. Um, uh, donation from... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but uh, Blue Boy, you pronounce words like Lorne and used his words from uh, the past to answer him all the time. What percentage of the time do you think he realized what you were doing? I haven't heard any. I don't think he, yeah, I don't think he does. I don't either. There are I, mean, some... I was just trying to get Reborn to laugh. <laughs> well, you know, it worked. Um, yeah, I'd say it's a very low percentage, but it has to be something that he is, it's cemented in his brain. Like, Casey never one time, sparked warnings, right? There was there was one time I did say something, I, for, I forgot what it was, but he got really quiet because I quoted something from the chat log, but it was a really, like, obscure reference that I didn't think anyone would remember. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember what it was, but I remember it happening in a call. I remember one time him remembering uh, a Lauren line, and it was when Jamie asked if he could count the feathers down there on the chickens, and he, go, he immediately said, "Why would you say that?" Yeah, he knew that one. He knew that, that one was more obvious. Yeah, but outside he of that, I don't think he's ever. Particularly, sorry, I was reading a comment. Oh no, well. You're good. You're good. Dinosaur tornado wants me to say particularly. Boom! Got it. You have there you served. go. There you go. There you go. How quickly after you and Lauren broke up did you start dating Rod? One time he said I lost it, and I said to the left, to the left, and he found it. <laughs> Lauren said oh, that. Daddy. Oh, which call was you did you do? Good luck. We want to know this shit. Um, it was a Ramona one, right? Maybe. No, it was I a Winnie remember. call. Uh. God, I can't even remember. Like, Winnie says like that one. I did. I do. And he goes, Yo, you yes, did, yes. You do. Good luck. And then hangs up. About her, it was about her sucking Dan's dick. That might have been it. Yeah. He's like, you sucking his dick? She's like, I did. I do. And he's like, you did. You do. Good luck. And then hangs up the phone. Yes. And okay. I was quoting that for like six months, just. Oh yeah. Laughing like a psychopath. I don't know why that like. I laugh at the weirdest parts of these calls. Oh, me too. Yeah, there's always things that you hang on to and repeat over and over again. Uh, I know that the you did, you do went on forever. Will was saying it. The the girls yeah. were saying it a ton. <laughs> Lauren thought it was a Will saying because it was being said so much. Yeah. Hang on a minute there, Will. Yeah, exactly. For some reason she seems to think that that makes her more attractive. 
to me. Why? Okay. Is that it? Well, I don't know how he... Text yeah, I got to that conclusion. Yeah. How did he... Yeah. So then we're shooting this directly me. Oh, you said you fucked Dan is what it is. I did, I do. You did, you do. To throw your truffle away for him. Or who gone so fast with you? I think it was a week into you two talking. Okay, fair enough. Jimmy, you know that me and Casey never had phone sex. We never had text sex. Uh, right up until the other night. Uh, and we wanted you to be involved. Oh, that, those must have been some good text messages. Oh, I'm sure. Real sexy. Uh, Joran was a community member who was outed for weird shit, I guess. Right? Is that a good way of summing it up? That's a good way to sum I'm it up. I'm not going to get into all the story of it. He didn't join in because he wanted to have it with Rod. I would never cheat on you. Yeah. I, mean, I think the, the sex scene is, is just saying things that Lorne has said back to him. Yeah, because he never picks up on it. It's like, uh, one, some of my favorites is when Lil's talking to him, he goes, you, you, were you stressed read out, Lorne? And he's like, I was. You know, okay, were you being hate? Or They don't have phone sex. But they do, like, Casey will send text messages repeating lines from Lorne's previous sex calls and he's like oh fuck you yeah, baby or something like that I can't remember but they're all through text messages mm -hmm. and and there there have been times where like <laughs> Jimmy and Casey are sort of oh that, again again that's just Casey and Jamie going and I put my hand on your boob <laughs> yeah and, then you're my, and it's just like I that put and my Lord's left hand there going, on your right boob and... yeah yeah Someone asked me to do this. I, I, um, I can't believe we're going through this shit again! That is what I think they wanted to hear. Okay. Has Lauren ever asked for Jamie's porno videos? No, he's not allowed to watch them. But remember, when he thought Jamie was fake, prior to... It was after the first time Jamie and Lauren broke up and he was talking to Casey. This is before the thruple. And he tells Casey Jamie's name because he sent the ID picture to her. Remember that? And then Casey Googled her. She says she Googled her. And we... Remember, we have that screenshot of the model. Like, it looks like she is, like, having an orgasm. Should we, like, screenshot it right if she's, like, saying something weird? Like, she was talking in the video and we took a screenshot and it just happened to look like she was, like, mid-orgasm. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that photo, but I didn't think we ever sent that to him. No, I, I did send her. it to Lauren because I was, like... Because I said, is this is this her? And he's like, yep, and that's when he, like, knew, or that's when he, like, was like, oh, so Jamie is real. And then that's when he started contacting Jamie again while he was talking to Casey, and that was how, like, the thruple started. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually, I don't remember any of that, to be honest with you. Stuff's, stuff's falling okay. through the cracks at this point. <laughs> what I do remember now is that in the beginning, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie wanted Lauren's uh, O face, and... He said he would only do it if they swapped, and Jamie sent like a really, it was like really dark, you could barely make the person out from a movie making a no-face. Do you remember this? I rem I don't remember the photo, but I remember that yeah, happening. Yeah, and um, he went and got photos printed for his house, like the posters, and apparently that photo came up and said it was copyrighted, and he, <laughs> he grilled her and was oh. like, who the fuck, oh. you didn't give me a real photo? <laughs> She's like, no, it was a real one. It was just, uh, it was from a production. Also, you tried to print my O face off? And he's like, no, no. Yes. I mean, oh my God, guys. He took that to a fucking Walmart. Yeah. And tried to print it on the kiosk. Yeah. A woman, a woman's O face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an ass. It's <laughs> like, we can't print this, dude. Can't print this. Can't print this here, sir. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. man. I just remembered about it. I was like, oh, man. I remember you tried to print that shit. I See what I mean, though? It's like, it's like I, there's just so much shit I forget, and then something sparks yeah. it, and you're like, you remember this? <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, oh, someone man. asked uh, 
a few calls back I put on Heelborn. It was like, how did you sit on this for so long? I forgot it existed. You know? This, we, yeah, half these calls I don't remember happening. Mm-hmm. Um, because we would just find them randomly in the folder and be like, what's this? And then uh, sometimes it's a gem. We need a call for Sunday. What's this one? Yeah. Went out looking for the Virgin Penis. The Virgin Penis and the Virgin Mary. Despite what some idiot may say. Are you calling me an idiot? Obey the idiot who says I'm a cheater. Oh, Lauren sent it, for sure. Lauren sent his coon face a couple times. I'm sorry, his old face a couple times like six times we had like a collage of them at one point yeah i had like uh there was like a, a four-part panel of the first one and a sixth part of the second one something like that there's a few there's like four are those not out there uh i thought someone posted it when they weren't supposed to a certain lover um certain wine lover yeah but it was the robot that grabbed him um i don't know when it happened though you want to play the Coon well, commercial? We'll, we'll have I'll, to get uh, those out there. Those are good. Oh, definitely, Pick yeah. Two. Yeah. Um, NCA, I'll play the Coon commercial after, at the end of the show. All right. I'll play it, and I'll play something that didn't get added to it because there's supposed to be testimony. I had this whole idea for that fucking commercial. There's supposed to be testimonials from all the characters about the Coon Moons, and I just I played it because, you know, someone was revealing things behind the scenes. How could oh, you do I still that love to you, Jamie. How could I still you do love that you. I want to make this work. Oh, I missed a donation from um, Real Bjorn. Now, I'm not going to read it word for word, but more or less it says that uh, there's three ways to make me laugh, and it, one is to uh, tickle my bare tummy in a crop top. The other is... Uh, <laughs> Blow, blow on his elbow, knee, or neck. Sex spots, and then three is to show me World War Two footage. I am a sick <laughs> man. Sick man. Reborn has me do all those things to him. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thanks, real, real Bjorn. I appreciate that. Um, and of course, when people ask me if I care about the children, I of course say nope. <laughs> How could you do that so long? It's pretty good, right, Egbert? Dope. No, you grow the fuck up. Jamie, you can't move anywhere without Will. You can't... You, you go out on the fucking internet, get a goddamn virgin penis. You, you go out on the fucking internet, get a goddamn virgin penis when you're dating me. I, I hope he says virgin penis like 18 more times. After we'd already been engaged... You still have her engagement ring? How did you oh, give it to her? No, I don't. Uh-oh. Oh, oh baby know. boy. <laughs> baby boy's coming out. Lauren? We broke up. We broke up. Oh. And I took it back to the day to school. I guess set my phone down for a minute. Oh no, baby boy. What's happening? Lauren, what's the matter? Lauren. Lauren? Is she dropped come. Come on. Come on, It'll don't be, be a okay. pussy, Lauren. <laughs> come on, Lauren. Get real. Jamie, look what you're doing to him. Jimmy. You're there crying. And, and cr- crying. <laughs> and crying. Jamie, look I'm at getting it. off the fucking phone. Look what you've done. <laughs> just picturing his face as he's just... I'm sorry, I'll go back. <laughs> what were you saying? Just picturing him sitting there naked, just crying with his headset on and just brings me so much joy. His tears are rolling down his cheeks and hitting his dink. 
<laughs> He's crying about an engagement ring he bought for a fucking robot. <clears throat> I gotta set the phone down again. <laughs> That's right, Shin. He needs to make sure you can hear him crying. I gotta set the phone down. This ass clown left me for you, so I moved on, and now he's throwing a baby boy tantrum over his actions. Baby boy tantrum. And he's upset because he loves you. Do you not understand that? You don't understand that? He loves himself. Nothing else. Damn. I mean, no, she's not wrong. Amy, I fucking love you. What you ask, Casey? How hard of a time I had. The only reason I chose Casey over you is because you wouldn't come up and see me. Oh, that feels great. Yeah, thanks a lot, asshole. No offense to you, Casey. How the fuck did you say that? What did you say, James? What, what a dick thing to say. To yeah, what an me. asshole, like. <laughs> you don't care like shit at all. Say how good looking you were and how much he wanted to do stuff to you. Just like, oh, you know, well, I had to settle. <laughs> yeah, I had to settle for Casey because you didn't want to come up here. <laughs> he told me I was good looking. What do you mean? I constantly told Casey she was beautiful. Yeah, except that time you texted her and said, look what this bitch looks like. What's the new stuff, dude? She's talking about sex. Me and Casey uh, didn't get that far yet, Jamie. Those, those tears dried up awful quick, huh? Wow, yeah, that's the quickest turnaround. The wells are dry. He's very dehydrated. Dry what? Sexual shit. Yes. See, Lauren's trying to lie to Jamie right now, saying that he no. never tried to do anything sexual with Casey. Right. Not knowing that they like, could just compare Casey, notes. Yeah, but Casey has the messages. Right. It's like, oh, no, I never did that. You can't, yeah. It's like it's just weird that he's trying to lie to her while Casey's on the phone. Mm -hmm. All Jamie has to do is ask. She just has to be like, hey, do you, did you guys ever <laughs> talk sexually? Yeah, well, yeah, we did. Well, there we go. Except, Lauren, I think that even happens, and Lauren just keeps denying it still. And then changes the argument to, like, well, you fucked them. No. <laughs> now he's going to lie. Why about what? Let's hear the lie, Lauren. Go ahead and uh, tell me what I did, Casey. As far as sex, as far as sexual shit, shit, know what I did. <laughs> Casey had to remember, apparently. That way it comes from you and not me. Did he ask what you were wearing, Casey? Yes. Oh, you mean like, like the itinerary form? Did he go yummy, yummy, or in and in and in and in and in? <laughs> uh, mm -mm -mm. Probably. Um, he made an itinerary and um, a lot of shower. Like we were gonna have sex and play naked twister like ninety percent of the time it seemed like. <laughs> he just laughs. What else? Like, I can't. I can't lie now. And he's like, shit. Well, how do I get out of this one? We didn't have sex, Jamie. We didn't have phone sex. We didn't have text sex. Text sex. No, we didn't. We didn't do it. It was just talked about a lot. Is that what I was asking? Me and Casey actually enjoyed each other. It sure sounds like <laughs> what, what does that have to do with anything? Me and Casey enjoyed each other. So I talked about it. I didn't do it, Jamie. Because you couldn't. Did Kate, did Jamie do something though? What did Jamie do? She fucked him. That's not the what would you do? What would you? What would you doing while I while I was not doing it? Uh, what was she doing? More. You was doing wrong. Oh, doing wrong. <laughs> you was doing wrong. <laughs> you was doing. Did it feel wrong. good having Rod up inside of you? Oh. <laughs> 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 
make him think about it. What did it feel like having Rod, Rod, Rod just grab and hold of you? <laughs> Was it worth it? Um, I can try time again. Uh, we got a donation from uh, Grunt126. The thruple calls are okay. great. Uh, that's, a f that's a fact of life. And that's coming from a future Money in the Bank winner, L.A. Knight. Yeah! Thank you, both. Yeah. Yeah! Well, thank you. That's a donation thank of you, a bud. champion. <laughs> <laughs> Shooters <clears throat> of a champion. Uh, thank you, Grunt. Thank you. Yeah! Just holding you against the wall, just pounding away at you, bending you over the bed. Tech sex. You just said that you couldn't do anything because of your feelings for me, but you were trying to. That's the point, and instead of addressing it, you deflect. Hmm. Is he gonna understand Did that? You have anal sex with Rod. <laughs> trying to doesn't mean that I actually did anything to him. Trying to doesn't mean that I actually did anything. All I was doing was flirting. Hmm. That's what we were doing. We were flirting. I don't even think they were flirting. I don't either. He was talking about three showers in a day. That's what flirting is, Jamie. Because we were talking about it. We were flirting. We didn't actually do anything yet. Um, Bunky is pretty much the Rikishi, let's be honest. So at the time that we weren't doing anything, you were doing Rod. When we weren't doing anything, you were doing Rod. When they weren't together. When we weren't together. Why don't you ask Casey how hard of a time I had moving on from you? What does that have to do with anything? Rod put it in your ass, Amy. <laughs> God damn, Casey. I want to know. Did he take the old Hershey Highway? I can't believe you had anal sex with Rod. That's the most intimate type of sex, is anal sex, and you did that with him. <laughs> Jamie. Isn't that right, Jamie? She said it hurt, Jamie. <laughs> he just won't shut up. <laughs> Casey was listening about his anal sex. Oh Casey, shut the fuck up. We talked about it often. It doesn't mean that we did anything. We flirted, Jamie. We didn't even stay on the phone very long. Mike, that's the point, though. How do you not get this? Are you retarded? Oh, no. Jamie, stop it and think about what you're saying. While I was flirting with Casey, you was fucking... Yeah, fire it all. While I was flirting with Casey, you were fucking Rod. The point is, you were fucking Rod when I was flirting with Casey. The, the point is, and I'm, I think it's pretty clear, but I'll just write it out, because Lauren can't understand. The fact that Lauren would have fucked Casey had he been given the opportunity, he would have done it. Right. Yes, so, but I think one thing Lauren keeps failing to mention, though, is that they were not together. Right. They were broken up. Right. She can fuck whoever she wants. Well, apparently not. Apparently, her pussy always belongs to Lauren. So this is a fact we keep forgetting to about. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. And he was putting it in your ass. <laughs> no. What? Oh, that's a good idea, Preach. We might do that. <laughs> our, our faction name would be the Kings of Kayfabe, Blue Boy. We're putting 87 Wrestling. I think we should be in 87 Wrestling, but yeah. again, I just want to be jobbers. I want to be like, I want our stats to be very low. Just yeah. get beat up by everybody. That would be good. I like that. Still there, Casey? I still got a I'm fair amount here. of people to make. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Dating Warren's like trying to understand Vince Russo so fucking. Yeah, he was having sex with him. Oh, Dating no. him. Yeah. I think she even said she loved him at one point. Oh, really? Oh, really? That's interesting. 
Jamie, did you tell Rod that you love him? <laughs> and he ignores it again. Did you tell him you love him? Jamie, did you tell Rod that you love him? Of course. So I'll be like Laura. Did, you did tell I mishear you? you? Maybe I misheard you, Jamie. 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 Fuck Casey, Jamie. Fucker again. So what? Stupid way to say it. So he gets called out on the naked twister, and his answer is so what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, donation from Jill Pill. What would you do if <clears throat> Lauren was at home crying all alone on his trailer floor because he's Lauren horny? And the only way to tease him is to sleep with Rod for a little bit of money. And Lauren's dad is gone somewhere with Barbara living with Bunky. I believe those are lyrics reworded. How'd you feel about that, Blue Boy? Um. Thank you, Joe. Good. <laughs> See, people get it. There's the, oh, they no, get the song. Okay, so Do they get it? Okay. So we talked about it. We flirted. Thank you, Jill Pill. They were just flirting. You sucked, Rod. Have you wanted to play Naked Twister with KC? Did we're you, in a feedback loop. Did you loop. tell Rod that you love him? Have you wanted to play Naked Twister with KC? Well, all you're doing is repeating yourself, Jamie. For no reason. Just like you. Unbelievable. You just can't answer a question, can you? Well, I guess you and I really couldn't have had sex at the time, but he could have sex with Rod if he was there. It's a great idea. Just real quick, Blue Boy. Someone said they should have we should have a torn up tarp at the top of the ramp for, for days. Oh, that'd be great. I'm gonna I try to figure, do that. Yeah, I'll figure a way. We'll get it to work. Yeah. You just yeah. A question, so, Jamie, what you're saying is, it's okay, it's it's not okay that me and Casey flirted. No. And talked about sex. No. But it was okay that you had sex with Raw. No, no, no. The the point is, no, Lauren, is no. that you both talked sexually being to people yeah. when you weren't together. So you can't be mad. That's the that's the answer. I think she's saying that like if I were with if I were with you, we would have had sex. So it's equal. Because Rod was there, he had sex with him. And if I was there, we would have sex. So she's saying there's no difference. But we aren't even sure that we would have had sex. Yeah, oh, no, but <laughs> you're missing the point. No. Right. Yeah, Let, let's let's run through the the scenarios here. Casey says, "Okay, I think I'm gonna have sex." Is Lauren gonna say yes or no? Right, exactly. He's not gonna say no to that. Right. Like he would have had sex if he could have had sex with her. Absolutely. But now he's gonna sit there and be like, mm, "We don't know." But be, yeah, but because he wasn't able to, that means that they don't know. And Jamie was able to. That for some reason it's it's not fair or whatever. Well, Jamie. Is a pathetic fucking. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> pathetic <laughs> fucking bitch. Well, uh, so she's a beautiful woman, and she's a beautiful woman that I've had an interest in for a, interest in for a long time. So what? Right. Look at Rod. Have you had an interest in Rod for a long time? So then, why did you say you both didn't know? Because we didn't know. We didn't know for sure. <laughs> Oh my god. That's how slow we were going, Jamie. Yeah. Not by your own choice, though, Lauren. Right, Casey's the person that said that they were going slow. He was talking about three showers and naked twister. 
can on it because we didn't know for sure. Hmm. If you want to. Then I will, well, of course I did. You sure did. She's a beautiful woman, and I've had an interest in her in a long time. Have you figured it out yet? That's the answer. I understand. Jamie. I understand the point you're making, Jamie. I understand the point. You're saying there's no difference. And what is the difference? <laughs> what is the difference? No, Jamie, I understand what you're saying. The problem is, is you lied to me. No, you and you, the problem is you lied to me, and you told me that you never, you didn't have any interest in Rod. Then you just broke up with him last night. Good night. After being with us in the throuple for three weeks. My okay, here we go, three weeks in. Okay. Well then, I, it, it seems weird that the rules were established three weeks into the relationship. But it makes sense, I guess. So maybe it is three weeks. You can change your mind, but when I asked you if it was Rod, you said no. Actually, it does make sense. Yeah, th this was later on. Yeah, Matter of fact, you said ill. Yeah, what happens? Yeah, what happens? Yeah, look what happens. Yeah, it was happens. Rod. It was Rod, and you fucked him. Hmm. And then what? Do you feel better? No, Jamie, I don't feel better. Did he fuck you or did he fuck you? Both. Both. So, like, you pegged him? <laughs> remember when Lord said, peg me, honey? I do remember that. He's cooming. No, he doesn't sleep that way. Peg me, honey. No, Jamie, I don't feel better. Considering how in love with you I've been. Uh-oh. I don't feel oh, better no. at all. Oh, no. <laughs> Make it stop. Lauren, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. Tell her what you're feeling. This match is a disappointment. I'm just gonna let it be, be known right away. Can it, can it be I can't believe we're going through this game. I can't believe we're going through shit again! Look at Jim run. I was like, Jim is just in a... He's stuck right there. He's glitching <laughs> Jim's out. Jim's trying to leave and doesn't and realizes he can't. Yeah, the AI Let him sucks figure in these cage matches, guys. <clears throat> what's making you cry? Once Jim figures it out, he this match will end very I've quickly. So fucking in love with her, I haven't been able to... Sorry, let me go back. Let's hear Lauren cry. Yeah, we were talking all over that. Sorry, guys. I've been so fucking in love with her, I haven't been able to get over her. <laughs> then why did you date Casey? You're in, a, you're, in a, you're in a circle, though. Why would you... Yeah, why would you care? You're in a relationship with her right now, and you're crying. Yeah. Like, of course you couldn't get over her. Yeah. There we go. What? This is what Casey was trying to do earlier with the with the anal sex stuff. Yeah. Is that what you want to hear, Lord? I don't want to hear any of that fucking shit, Jamie. Why do you think I would want to hear that? Do you like really how you think said, "What?" Me feel better, or is that just you reminiscing? Jamie, stop reminiscing and listen to Lawrence tell you how he feels. Why do you keep saying? And you fucked him. Yeah, I can oh, run. I was talking over. Yeah, everyone in a bit. Sorry, guys. He pulled it <clears throat> like a kitten when we did it. Is that what you want to hear, Lauren? I don't want to hear any of that fucking shit, Jamie. Why do you think I would want to hear that? Do you really think that's going to make me feel better? Or is that just you reminiscing? Jamie, stop reminiscing and listen to Lauren tell you how he feels. Why do you keep saying? And you fucked him. Listen to him tell you why you're crying. I can't believe you fucking did it, Jamie. I can't oh, no, no, no. She, she said she he pawed at my tits like a kitten. Is that what you want to hear? 
I thought I meant more like to you, you than that. Sounds like you want details to me. I thought I meant more to you than that. Sounds like you want details to me. No, I don't want fucking details. I want you to tell that cock so I can get the fuck out of your life. Oh, shit. Get him out of your life, Jamie. Oops, oh, sorry. Of course you won't. Because you don't fucking love me anymore. Apparently you got robbed. I love you too. I gotta get off the phone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Baby boy. What? Hello. He's back. You can't hang up every time you get upset. I want you to tell Jamie what is upsetting you so she'll understand. No, like, tell her why you're I crying. I hate that he. He wants to hang up every time he's going like every time he's mad or he wants to cry. Especially when he's crying. He's like, I could go oh. it annoys the fuck of me. He's like, no, Lauren, I need you I need to record you crying, so you can't <laughs> hang up the phone. <laughs> I, I can get up the microphone. I remember when uh Jamie first recontacted him, when he would get mad, he would kinda like I gotta go and he'd get get off the phone and then come back and be fine, because apparently that's what they taught him was like Yeah don't rage on like, the phone. Take a step. Yeah. He wants to be chased. I'll chase him if he's crying. Yeah. Again, it's all just about getting the tears and the, and the rage from him. I don't care how we get there. Yeah. As long as he's screaming at somebody. So we can work on this. She knows what's upsetting me. Oh, well, baby boy. Her, she clearly doesn't know. I've been so fucking in love with her. Mm, so fucking in love. That I couldn't even get over her. to find out that you went with that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I know, she but spent we... spent all that time with him. Then she fucked him can't... again. Yeah, she fucked him again. But he can't be mad because technically speaking, there was no relationship at the time. So in reality, we can't get mad that she, she fucked him repeatedly over and over while we weren't with her. That's a, that's a good point, Casey. But then when she, when she couldn't come up here and see me, she wanted to bring that piece of shit. She knew how I felt about that. She, I, told her, I told her all straight, I'll fucking beat the living fuck out of him. We were just <laughs> friends then. Yeah. It just led to more, right? Yeah. Why did you want to bring him with, Jamie? I beat the living fuck out of him again. What would happen? I wonder what happened if, when I went up when we when we went up there, if I knocked on the door and was like, "Hey, I'm Rod." If he would have just beat the shit out of me, I right? doubt it. Like on the spot. I think he would have kick, kick, kid, or shut the door. Oh in your face man, I would at least hope you'd record it. I mean, look at Are you happy about this, Jamie? Because Lord it's just a little pathetic sniffling. You know, like he smoked tonight, and I needed someone to drive me around. Well, wanted nothing to do with him. Okay. I get what you're saying. Cat was getting into something, sorry. Stepped away. Oh, you're good. Lauren, tell her why you're still crying. Lauren, comment. Jamie and I want you to listen to him. Yeah, it was me snapping, trying to get the cat Just down. Say I still <laughs> fucking love her. And I couldn't fucking get over her. But, uh, so why is that Jamie's so problem? Baby boy. Well, because he couldn't right get over now, her means right? she couldn't have sex with Rod. That's right. Lauren couldn't get over as he was aggressively trying to have sex with Casey. He couldn't get over Jamie. So Jamie can't go have sex. Right? Something like that? That's what I'm, that's how I'm understanding it. Uh, well, here's a crazy thing. I think this crying is just manipul manipulating. <laughs> what? Yeah. Ma manipulating. Manipulating. Bullshit.
I love the sniffles, though. Doesn't mean that this shit don't fucking hurt. Yeah, the... I know it hurts, but... I never time it times like look, this. Look at the bright <laughs> side. Uh, we got a donation from DSP Historical Society. They said, uh, Blue Boy is a rowdy, rowdy piper and uh, piping, piping down all the babes. Are you piping down all the babes? All of them, yep. Damn. Th thank you, uh, DSP. DSP Trump. Thank you. He probably cried all the time as a kid. What's hurting you so bad? Oh, yeah. Just couldn't turn these waterworks off. Because you know that fucking peach of shit fucked them all over again. <laughs> fucked them all over again. <laughs> what did he do that makes him a piece of shit? That's a great oh. question. She met him when we were together. That's it. That's all it took. How does that make him a piece of shit or a cocksucker? He's just a piece of shit because he met her when they were together. <sighs> okay. This is Lamandre. This is Lamandre. This is Big Bad Lamandre. This is, if Lamandre, like the Ninja Turtles, you know how they be they were regular turtles and they became humanoid turtles. This is yeah. If Lamandre, Lamandre got the ooze on him. Fell in the sewer drain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And got the ooze on him. This is what he would turn into. Just friends. Possibly can. And I begged her to get the fuck rid of him. I begged her. She did it. We Ramona's diaper, you can't meet anyone new when you're in a relationship, but you also can't meet anyone after your relationship is over. You only get one relationship in your life, and if you can't stick through it, you're fucked. Right? Yes. There you go. You heard it here first. This is a mismatch with this. Take her to the movie. No, Ross gonna get fucking nominated. Go on dates with her. <laughs> All while Lauren was alone. He was upset and he was sad that you guys broke up. All while he was doing that, sitting in his trailer or whatever, and that's you were off. I did get rid of Dick, didn't I, Lorne? What? And that's a lie. I did get rid of him, didn't I, Lorne? He's still there, Jamie. So apparently you didn't and get rid of him. And that's a lie. I did get rid of him, didn't I, Lorne? Well, you told him, yeah. And then, of course, you said he cried. And I felt bad. I said, you didn't have to tell him that you couldn't be friends. C.K.C. You invited him right back, kept him right there. C.K.C. Big thing I know. Okay, if like you... Movies and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> like, okay, Reborn, if you and I broke up... Right. And, and I went off and had sex with no, one of my friends that allowed. you did... That, Sorry. That you didn't want me to have sex with, and then you and I got back together. Uh -huh. Would you be this mad at me? I don't think you have a case once you break up. You know, it's kind of like they can do whatever they want. You can't really be, hold it over their head. If if it was that much of a problem, you wouldn't be together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, would anyone be this mad if if like your girlfriend or boyfriend did this to you? Like you guys broke up, and then she had sex with someone that. I guess, I mean, I guess that you know or something. Yeah, it's, like, not, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. Not, I don't know. They weren't really ever like. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You're, you're trying away. to say like, does he is he justified in being this mad over it? I guess. Yeah, like like, would you be this mad? No, because it, it, if it happened, it just wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, broke up for yeah. a reason. So it's clearly, you know. Yeah, I feel like you can't be mad. I feel like there's no, yeah. like, I, you couldn't sit there and scream at the person and be like, well, why did you fuck that guy when we weren't together? Yeah, Pussy Star is right. You wouldn't be happy about it. I guess I wouldn't be happy about it, yeah. Right. But you you can't sit there and, like, I don't know. But I can't. You can't do I this. Know, I feel like I would be, I feel like it wouldn't be fair to be mad at them for this. Yeah. They had a justifiable reason to do it, you know? Especially when that person that's crying right now was actively trying to fuck somebody else, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, Outdoor Loser. When you break up, you can't date anyone. You can't have sex with anyone else until it's that person again. This cat. I'll be right back. Okay. Of course, I have to go off to some fucking cabin. Some fucking cabin to do fucking movies. Yeah. I mean, Jamie, you must have been getting feelings for Rod. 
for a while because you started dating him like right away. So like, did your feelings yeah. for him grow over and over and over over the span of like, you know, months and months? Little by little, you started finding yourself attracted to Rod and wanting to kiss his lips and hustle his hair and grab onto his muscles. His hair is nice. All while you, all while you were with me. I wasn't with you. All right, hopefully they'll stop. Yeah, you watched the movies with Rod while you were with me, Jamie. The, watching movies? Who gives a shit? Did you guys share a blanket? As friends don't bell. Yeah. You still spend time with him, Jamie. Uh, time that you should not have been spending with him. Friends don't spend time together. Yeah, well, your feelings grew over time for him, but obviously. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Like, what's the point of this? What, like, what does he want her to say? I always wonder that at some point during the call, when, like, we're towards the end and the argument is just going in circles. Uh -huh. Where it's like, okay, what is the solution supposed to be? Because she's said a hundred times she's not getting rid of Rod. Right. And Lauren keeps saying, you gotta get rid of him. So, so now what? Where do we go from yeah. here? Because that's not what's gonna happen. Because all Lauren's doing is repeating over and over again, you fucked him, and you fucked him, and we were together, you met him, and you fucked him. It's like, yeah, this has been going on for the last 20 minutes of this call. It's just been going in circles. I know. They're, it's just because he wants to hear what he wants to hear, which is like, I'm going to get rid of this guy and never talk to him again. And then what will happen is he'll be like, good. Because remember, you fucked him when we well, were... Well, <laughs> I mean, she keeps saying, like, I'm not going to get rid of him. So what is he? what do you do then? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's. I mean, he's too scared to break up with her. So, so what? Like, is this supposed to just go on forever and ever like this? Yeah, yeah, it would. It it really would. This could have very like this could have been a six hour call of just this. Oh yeah, it, if there was no stopping it. And I know Jamie used to get really. Uh, she would see red and and not be able to pull herself out of that hole. Sometimes it would just go in loops for hours of this. <laughs> Because what Lauren's saying doesn't make sense. Like, it's just, just move on. It, okay, it's not yeah. going to happen, so just move on. Well, no, I'm going to repeat all the things you've done that I don't like, and you yeah. fucked them. But it's like, all the questions have been answered. Yeah. That he's asked, like, yeah. she doesn't, she's not getting rid of Rod. Yeah, so, so just stop. yes, she had sex with him, like, everything's been answered so far. Yes. The, the whole anal sex <laughs> debacle. Well, those weren't answered. Those weren't answered. But... <laughs> I just needed Lord to think about it. Yeah, definitely. It's got to, you know, stew up there. Yeah. So where do we go from here? Oh, Rod gone. Completely. Okay, that's what he wants. Jamie, what do you want? I'm sorry, but I'll be done with this horse shit. I've been grilled for an hour for dating a guy when I was single. That's a good point. But you've been dating him for three weeks while you had us. No. You just told us that you broke up with him last night. And? And? You've been dating us for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. I want him gone completely. I want him swimming with the fishes. Uh... <laughs> Why wasn't he told before? Because you had already told me that you broke up with him. Oh my goodness. Now we gotta walk through this. Say that, but okay. I didn't say that, but okay. Yes, you did. When? Just the other day. Name the day. I like Fat Lauren. It was more two than days ago, Jamie. Skinny Lauren. You told me that you left, that you left him for us. Jamie, what do you want? That's Dale and Lauren. Lauren wants it brought down 100% completely. And what do you want? You want to keep working with him? Well, we already know she wants to keep working with him. Yes, it's good I mean, money. it's fucking Rod, for God's sakes. Yes, it's good, it's good money. money and, it's good money, and he still gets to see you naked. I don't trust it. 
At all. My god, Lord, shut up. <laughs> at oh all. God. He doesn't trust Rudd at all. So Jamie's in the yeah, trouble. Yeah, we know. And they're dating. And she's, she's stated in this call a couple of times she's never cheated on anyone. So she says she's not going to cheat on them. What is he worried about? Uh, he doesn't. Tr he trusts her. Let's not forget. He trusts her, but he doesn't trust yeah. Rod. What does that mean? Well, it's, I think he's a liar. Yeah. I don't think he trusts her. He does not. He does not. I think Will's walked him through that a couple times, too. I love that uh, Lauren's fighting his stepfather right now. Jamie, I trust you. Everyone sees me naked. I know. I know. I understand your job. And I know that I can't get mad about it because I knew about it prior to us getting in a relationship. So I'm prepared for it. I know I'll try that it, everyone sees you naked. I know about the porn and stuff. And I know you see me naked. Right, the entire world. However, Besides Lauren. Lauren wants Rod gone and he doesn't trust it. I trust you, Jamie. And if you could keep your feelings separate, I don't have a problem with him working with you still. But I want to know that you that your feelings for him aren't going to come back. What's that even mean, Casey? He doesn't trust you. Jamie. Ask him to explain that. I don't trust him with you. Right now, Jamie, I right now, Jamie, I don't trust you two together. So you don't trust her. Right? That's what I'm doing from it. You trust Jamie? I trust Jamie. I don't trust them together. <laughs> so Oh my what god. Is that? I don't the stop definition. calling me boss. Stop the name calling bullshit, no. Jamie. Well, you are a moron. Yeah, you this is I don't, so together? stupid. I don't trust you two alone. Microwave stuff. What does that mean? <laughs> means I don't ever want him alone. Well, I know, but what do you mean? You called me names tonight, tough guy. Means I don't want him doing movies alone. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want them alone, together. Period. I don't want them because alone because you think they're gonna. I don't. Have sex? I don't trust it. It means he I doesn't don't trust, trust me, but he's too chicken shit to say it. Mm -hmm. I don't trust you alone with him right now, Jamie. Because she's just gonna fuck right, him. So he doesn't trust you, Jamie. That's what I'm hearing. After all, I'll get the trust back. But I oh. I want the motherfucker gone. Period. And you don't want him gone. So I don't trust you alone with him. Women around penises are just going to have sex with them. They have no control. Right, Blue Boy? Right. You can't even own your... You can't even own your own feelings. You have to dance around it. What a pussy. I need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm, yeah. I'm tired yeah, of this I am too. I am too. No more, I am too. You had no choice, dumbass. Yeah. They're both hanging up. If you listen real quickly, he gets mad that Jamie says she's gonna leave, and then when Casey says she's gonna leave, he's like, yeah, me too. Yeah. Right here, hold on. You can't even own your own feelings, you have to dance around it. What a pussy. I need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm... You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh that was i called it thruple tr trouble but i mean i guess it needs an actual name but uh if you have suggestions of course throw them in the comments below hope you enjoyed that call um did you have fun blue boy i had fun i have fun every week uh do you want to see the Kumoon moon commercial should we take a game i like it yeah let's play it all right let's play this for everybody hold on me find it here. Yeah. Hello. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna mute this. Hello. Space. Infinite possibilities. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, let me pause it and back up here. 
There's a lot of effort put into this, but Blue Boy needs to see it. There you go. Hello. Space. Infinite possibilities. Our closest neighbor. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> it was once an impossible dream that man would ever step foot on the surface. <laughs> then the words of the great Neil Armstrong turned that dream into a reality. The robot does such a good job. Right, of reading that. Yeah, it's like a perfect. <laughs> the community has also experienced things once thought impossible. You've seen Mr. Penis. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> You've seen Lorne's literal asshole. Excuse me? You've seen the shit coming out of Lorne's literal asshole. God damn, I'm fucking so tired of this shit. But there are still dreams the community has. This shit is foolish! <laughs> Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Why can't we put our first dolt on the moon? What? <laughs> what? What about Lorne's goom face? What about it? Well, move over Neil Armstrong because Lorne has done it again. <laughs> It's one small dink for Lorne. Now listen to the fucking words again! One giant fat for the community. Horse Dink and Money proudly present their hottest new item. The Coom Moon. The Coom Moon Lamp is an item that every community member will want to have. Resting in a base made from recycled wood found at the dump. A combination of black mold from Lawn's trailer and the coom from his used condoms. Oh. Create the material used to 3D print a lamp into the shape of the moon. But the standout feature of the coom moon is the design on its surface. But horse dink and money and releasing one coom moon, or two, or three, <laughs> have decided to make five different models. <laughs> A once-in-a-lifetime set deserves a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Normally the full set would be priced at... 9455. Five. But if you order in the next 45 minutes, you will receive all five Goom Moons for... I don't know why you need to put 87 in there. An amazing price for an amazing product. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear what real customers have to say about the Goom Moon. Lamp. And that's as far as I got with it. Uh, I made that. Do you want to? You some... gotta finish it. Yeah. Do you want to hear some testimonies I did make? Yeah. I like to put two lamps together and stare at it all night. <laughs> Best lamps in the business. It's like tits. <laughs> <Fucking> Mark. <laughs> There's one other one I got. Hold on. Oh no, where is he? Hold on. Hold on. It's alright, I guess. It, <laughs> it smells terrible. Can I ask, like, who is this for? <laughs> I want to change it to Willy Wonka now. Yeah. No, Will's Willy Wonka. Come on. But, uh, yeah, that's as far as it went. That's the end of the project. Yeah, I put so much effort in the fucking video compared to normal <laughs> shit I do, so. Who knows? Maybe one day. It'll be. Yeah, I think you should finish it. That's funny. Complete. The robot's definitely, like, the best spokesperson. I definitely want to do more, like. <clears throat> there were other products, oh. too. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, we had Brusty Juice. Well, not Brusty Juice. I meant, like, there was the Coom Candles. Oh. Um, that was, was a thing. Um, I don't know if I even have one. Let me see if I can put one on the screen. No, no, no. That's just some guy. Some wrestler. Um... 
Where the fuck is it? Hold on. Sorry, buddy. It's been a while since I've looked at this. Coon candles. Where are you? Those are floating items. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it now. I mean, like... Uh... Fuck are the candles, man. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, here's one. Here's one of them. Oh. Oh, oh. I just moved something. What the hell was that? Oh, they're like those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a, the prayer candles. Hold on. Oh, there's another one. Oh, just like Virgin Mary and Virgin Penis. Virgin Mary and the Virgin Penis. <laughs> I think this one... Is his head that flat up top? No, that one just cut weird. Oh, it was like cropped. Okay, I was like, jeez. Yeah. Look at that. Is that real? Yes. A real candle? Yeah. Yeah, it is a real candle. No, they said that it is a real candle. You can buy it. You can buy these candles at uh, the at the shop. Sell them at the ten mile yard sale. All right, guys. Um, as per usual, that's. Oh, I didn't even save that. Damn it! Damn it, Jamie. Let me save that well, so I don't have to re chop that shit down. Uh, okay. Blue Boy, you got any plugs? You can be anywhere this week? Poughkeepsie, maybe? Um, I will be in Poughkeepsie, but... Yes. Black I will action. be on, um, I think Wes's stream tomorrow. We're going to do a, a call where Lauren goes into detail about his... Um, him and his brother, you know, fondling each other and stuff. So, oh, that should uh, be real exciting. <laughs> it's kind of a downer. Um, but there is, like, a first... That's, like, the last half of the call. The first half of the call is... Um, I can't remember, but it's not that good. Um, it's going to be at this, the time uh, the most worst wants to tell you the time. I'm not sure when. I can't say the name of the call or of the of the stream we're gonna be on because I'm not black today. Oh, okay. I can that say I can say it tomorrow. No, but, it's not um, I, will not, I will. I won't be saying it today. All right. Um. But yeah, that's an interesting. It'll be an interesting one. You I, can I, tell me if you think Lauren's telling the truth or not. I go back and forth. I because. Mm, go ahead. No. Yeah. But the first I, time I heard it. The first time I heard it. I was like, oh, this sounds legit. And then I re-listened to it when I was looking for it to give to Wes. Mm -hmm. And I heard it again. I was like, I don't know if this is real or not. So you all can decide. You all can decide for yourselves. Uh, Allison Marie Armstrong said, Reborn, I, I love the way you spend your free time. And I take that, I'll take it as a compliment, but it also makes me feel very sad. <laughs> I love the way you are. I love the way you are with me. Um, yeah, guys, so that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had fun. Thanks for spending your Sundays with me and the wonderful Blue Boy. Thanks for stopping by, Blue Boy Cartel. Rise up. Re representing Represent. in here. I don't know. If, did you say rise up when, when you said rise? I don't know. I don't know. Of course, going to send me a cease and desist letter. I don't know. I keep, I keep stealing his catchphrases, but they're just so good. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, have a good night. We'll see you next week for some call. We'll figure it out before. We get yep. Okay, bye. Right, thanks, bye. I don't know all the words of the song, honey, but I like the chorus. Again, oh yeah.
You're the love that rescues me when the cold winds rain. Then you're so amazing, that's just how you are. And I can't turn back now, cause you brought me to the fire. I need you like water, like breath, like wind. I need you like modesty from heaven's gate. There's a freedom in your love, and it carries me through. I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you like water, like breath, like wind. I need you like mercy from heaven. There's a freedom in your life. Here it is, no darling. I need you. I need you. Oh. 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 Oh.